welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Washington Nationals and the Detroit Tigers. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. So the Detroit Tigers have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins. So just about set now. On the hill here today, Tarek Skubal. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. And it's even up. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the grab one down. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Luke, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. Next offering is in for a strike. Garcia leads off first with one away. Next offering is downstairs. Into center. Green settles under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting four, the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Two RBIs last night. Two of the three runs they scored in the game. And a 1 2. And a ball evens the count. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And it's filled up. And now the lefty hit hard. That gets through. Coming home. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe as they jump ahead. A run scores. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Lane Thomas. Two outs. And one and two. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. Corners are occupied with two down. Smoked on the ground a second. They get the force. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Shohei Otani. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. And here it comes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering misses, and the count is two and two. Started to go after it. 
Now a look down to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. 3-2. On the ground to short. Abrams. Baez gone on the play. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Javier Baez. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Swing and a miss. One and two. Got him swinging. Welcome back. Second Good inning set to go. Now the it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jerickson Profar. Profar. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And now it's even up. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And the leadoff man aboard. You'll often hear the phrase Michael. short to it, the long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And it's Michael Ooh. Chavis at the plate. That one finds the corner. And the count one and two. the pitch and now the count is even Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing he likes the low ball which traditionally favors pitching but you know hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down so we'll see how it goes in this one ah now this ball splits the gap in right center pro far around third he will score, and they take a two-run lead. Safely into third, it's an RBI triple. Picks himself up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. The 1-1 is fouled off. Chavis, the lone runner, stands at third with nobody out. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Thierling puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags from third. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So the batting order turns over. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. That's in there. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. And he deals. And a base hit up the middle. In comes the run from third to add on. And they lead by three. Comes through with the RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now it's Luis Garcia. Singled and scored his first time. Here's a 1-1. And that's in there at the knees. Still only one out here in the inning. Fly ball down the line. Veerling settles under this one. Hauls it in. And there's two away. Man at first, now down the third baseman, the third baseman. Joey Manessis. Joey 0 for 1 with a Manessis. fly out. The 1-1. One -one. 
good eye in that spot. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Misses outside. And now three balls and a strike. Shohei Otani in the on-deck circle for the Nats. And the pitch. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a now runner in the scoring position, and a chance it. for this offense Shohei. to add on to their lead. Ohtani. Here's Shohei Otani. Reached on an infield single his first time. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. to short Baez they take the force out out number three they put two on the board three hits no errors but two are left stranded we go to the bottom of inning number two it's the Nationals three and the Tigers nothing bottom of the second and now the DH Giancarlo Stanton the designated hitter one of the things to remember about John Carlos Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Next pitch misses way outside. Just inside, and now it is filled up. Stays alive. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here is Austin Meadows. Meadows checks his swing, appeal to third, and that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. One and two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze it. At the play, Brandon Lewis. This one in the air right field. Profar as he glides to his left. And the inning is over. One left for Detroit. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. On to the third inning, and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Here comes a pitch. Well, these Nats putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. The 3-1. It's the slider in there for a strike. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your guys really fighting for every at-bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they show. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And forget it. So he leaves the yard to left. Third home run of the season. It's 4-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Next to hit, Lane Thomas. Line drive, calls it in, and there's one away. The white fielder, number 10. Jurek now batting Jurickson Profar. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. One down, base is empty. Oop. And foul ball. And 
and now two and two. Blind into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. And Michael Chavis will get a chance to hit. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. Next one misses. Two and one. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's outside. Up the middle, Baez. Gets it to first. That ends the frame. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Comerica Park Leading up as we go to the last of the no third. And stepping in is the speedy Matt Veerly. Foul tip into the mitt, struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Thomas pulls it in on the run. Now batting, shortstop. Javier. Back to the top of the Detroit Javier. order. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Javier Baez. Grounded out his first time. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tigers are shut down there. They're down 4 nothing. to the fourth and here's the catcher Hebert Ruiz the why to kick the pitch just off the outside part of the plate well he hasn't quite settled in out there four runs in three innings he's gonna have to have some quick one two three innings to pitch deep into this ball game next one is off the plate and now three and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Bo Brisky appears to be getting loose. Rodriguez, the lefty, warming up as well. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now at the plate, C.J. Abrams. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Ruiz leads off second with nobody out. And that is in for a strike. Two and two. Comebacker to the mound. The throw to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. So digging in, Luis Garcia. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. The 1-1. One, one. Curveball drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. 
slider got him for strike three. No, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. The 2-1. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Man at second. Way high with that one. And the count is filled up. Shohei Otani in the on-deck circle. Runner at second, two down. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. Back here in Detroit. And now Riley Green. Swing and a miss. One, one and two. Base knock center field. So a man on base to start the inning. And now it's Gavin Lux. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. 2-1 the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now it's Austin Meadows. Absolutely frozen with a backdoor slider for strike three. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Struck out looking and his first at back. And it is 2-1. Just missed. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. 3 2. He goes down looking. Tigers strand a pair. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Bo Brisky on a pitch out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. In for a strike, and it's one and two. You know, these Nationals really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in, so I'd say mission accomplished. Green makes the play, and there's one away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered in this game. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. Two and one. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Hoskins over at first with one away. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. There's the strike. And the righty deals. Left field, Veerling under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. 
Now batting, right fielder, Jerickson Profar. Man at first, and now the right fielder, Jerickson Profar. Right-hander kicks, deals. Right side, hard hit. Lewis takes it himself, and that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Brandon Lewis. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Hits the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Gets a piece and stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. Glide out his first time. Got him. Now two away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the now dugout. Batting. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Fly ball, center field. Thomas on the move. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missed. And now two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty to the plate. High fly ball, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The catcher, Kaybert Ruiz. Hebert Ruiz getting ready to hit. Two on the way. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now batting. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Now here is C.J. Abrams. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So first and second with one man gone. Now Luis Garcia. The next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That one in for a strike, two and two. There's a swing and a drive. Out of here. His second of the year, and they add to the lead. It's seven nothing.
when you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Now Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. New pitcher on here, Matt Whistler. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Left-hand batter waits. Tigers bullpen with some action. Will Vest getting loose for A.J. Hinch. second one out next to hit for the Nats Reese Hoskins high fly ball out to center field green settles under it and makes the catch runner tags up for third now he decides against it and he's back in at second as good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand you cannot hang a breaking ball right there lucky it stayed in the ballpark so two down now and here is Lane Thomas the 2-1. Two, two. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 3-2. and two. First and second, two down. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Brings it in, and that is the third out of the inning. But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three-run homer. It's now 7-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Riley Green. Next pitch no, misses outside. Two and one. one strike. In the air, out towards right center. Profar moving under it. One up, one down. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably baseman. done in the next couple of batters. Gavin. Here's the second Lux. baseman, Gavin Lux, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Towering home run from Stanton. His second of the year, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 7-1. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You're getting a new baseball from the umpire. Now it's Austin Meadows. On the pitch now for the Nationals, Andres Machado. And he's got a nice Number lead to work with, so he should Andre. come in throwing strikes, Machado. attacking these hitters. The 1-1. One -one. Way out front for strike two. Check swing, now an appeal to third. And Ed Drummond right on it, says he held up. 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That ends the inning. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's 7-1. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerickson Profar. The 1-1. One -one. And that's in for a strike. The 1-2. That to right. Meadows should have it. And there's one down. 
Now back, left fielder, Michael Chavis. And now it's Michael Chavis. Fastball for a strike. And the count is one and two. Hater deals battling here as he fouls it away. And that just misses. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Next one three off the two. plate inside, and it's three and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Left field, way back there. That's back. And that one is going to go. An absolute blast to left. His second of the year, it's 8-1. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Strike two. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the now ball the other way. But that shot. time, a little CJ. anxious. So the Nets lineup turns over. Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. That one fouled off two and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And a pitch. And a good eye there. Bounced up the middle. Tosses to first. That's the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now eight to one. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Walter Muller. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And now it's Max Muncy. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Brandon Lewis digs in now. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Profar pulls it down, and there's two gone. Two outs, bases empty. And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. That one ripped. Thomas makes the catch, inning over. Three up. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Will Vest. This is his third time out this year. Number 19. Well. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. So, man aboard, Joey Meneses digging in for the Nationals. Next offering misses. And a count two and one. Righty delivers. Ooh. And there's a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. That one 95 to finish him off. 
Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Okay. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least okay. to foul something off, extend okay. that at bat. Man at first. Now it's the DH, Shohei Otani. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Swing and a miss. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Garcia leads off first with two down to the inning. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Rodgers makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for Washington, and it remains an eight-to-one game. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jake Rodgers. You're so coming into the game now on defense, Israel Pineda. He takes over behind the plate. Number 43, Israel Pineda. Also into the ball game, Jared Kelnick. He'll be patrolling center field. Number 13, 1-1 now. No, that's a ball. Two and one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes a nice running catch. One down. Now it's Javier Baez. The wind of the pitch. Well struck left field. And it is gone! Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Dives for it, but it gets down for a hit. Man at first with one gone. Gavin Lux up now for the Tigers. Double play ball to second. There's one, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Now back. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time out. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Next offering is down low, and it's two and two. Got it by him for the K. Javi Baez with the big fly in the inning. It's now 8-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Cisnero. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And it's even up. The other way, and he beats the shift. Great approach on a nice pitch. Dropped a barrel on it, stayed on plane completely through the swing, and drove it the other way. Kind of have to tip your cap if you're on the mound on that one. Swung on, belted. That's going back. Back some more. And that ball is out of here. He'll touch them all. Third home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 10-2. to
one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Chavis now. Three, two. Got him looking. Froze him with the heater at the knees. And here is Israel Pineda taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Right handed reliever. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. The pitch. Okay. Out to short. Zips it across. Third out. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. And now an eight-run lead at 10-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Detroit, Austin Meadows now. Kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Chavis makes the catch and there's one gone. Here comes Max Muncy. Ball to strike. The pitch. Up the middle, Abrams. They get the out on Muncy. Up next to the tie. And now Brandon the Lewis. Baseman, Brandon. Lewis. Next one in the dirt. That misses off the outside edge. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And down on strikes. That's the ball game. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 10-2 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.